We just bought this X-Tool D1 10 watt laser and we're gonna unbox it and test it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we bought a new toy. For under $800, we picked up this X-Tool D1 10 watt laser with rotary attachment and we're gonna unbox it and test it out right now. Yes, lasers are so popular right now and you know we love our Glowforge, but we thought we'd pick up this D1 X-Tool laser here because of its price tag, because of its portability, and maybe because you've been looking at lasers but are afraid to take that deep dive into something as big as that Glowforge. I think this might be a great alternative, and we thought we'd unbox it, see what it looks like, and give it a test. Step one. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna open it up, see if everything that's supposed to be there is actually there. Check all of our little parts and pieces. It came in this little box here. This is great. You can already see it's gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit more portable. And then I'm most excited about these two boxes. They both say material box on them, and I can't wait to see what's in here. It looks like quite a few little things. I've already had a peek in this one. I haven't had a peek in this one. <laughs> Cheating. I already know there's <laughs> fun, some fun things in here. So I can't wait to get to this part. But first First, we've got to open it up, take it out of the box, put it together, see what we got. All right. And All right. this one's going to be my little project here. Step two. It's time to assemble it. Looks like everything is here, everything is packaged well, and uh, we even have some eye protection. Safety first, Kim. <laughs> I've already had the book out, and it literally tells you to go and watch the tutorial video on assembly. So we've got that pulled up in front of us, and we're gonna pull the pieces out and start to assemble it. The X-Tool is a diode laser, not a CO2 laser like the Glowforge. The difference between a diode laser and a CO2 laser is that a diode laser uses a crystal to create a beam, where the CO2 laser uses a laser tube filled with gas and electricity to create the beam. Because it's only using a crystal, the diode laser is smaller and more portable takes up much less space, and you can pick it up and set it on things. Where the CO2 laser is much bigger and has to be more stationary, and you have to be very careful with the CO2 laser so that you don't damage that laser tube. The cutting area of the X-Tool D1 here is 16 inches by 17 inches, which is a very large cutting area for a diode laser. It will cut up to 10 millimeter, which is 0 0.039 inches, which is just over a quarter of an inch. So so it should do most of the materials you'll want to do as a desktop laser. Assembly is complete. I did most of it myself. Took about 40 minutes. Step three. We're going to load the software and pair the machine. We're going to use LaserBox Basic. It comes from Xtool. You just go out to the Xtool website and you download it. Software install for this laser is super simple. You really only need this cable and the initial setup. We'll connect the USB, install the software, locate our laser on the COM port, and it's really set up and ready to go. We've already tested importing SVGs, PNGs, and JPEGs, and they work great. Step four, time to test. We have a bunch of test materials that we're gonna to use to test out the laser. Yeah, so these materials came in the box with the equipment. It is not my material boxes right here. I have not even opened these yet, so these did not come out of there. And we have a little tiny dog tag, so a little bit of steel we'll engrave on this. We've got a piece of leather, a little piece of metal right here. It's like a business card size. I told Garrett I wanted to do our whole business card. It was like, that's... Yeah a little ambitious for the first one. Yeah. And then this is a piece of basswood. This is stuff you can get at Michael's or your craft stores. Um, this is like three by two. So I think we're gonna start with this. 
The cool thing about this machine, it does have an app. So Garrett downloaded the software on the laptop, but I also downloaded the app on my phone and that's what we're gonna start with here. There are some preloaded images in here, like 30 of them, so not very many. But I see here where I can upload my own images. We could upload our logo and do that, but I think I'm just gonna start with one of their images. Uh, I have loaded this little butterfly in here and then I'm gonna click print settings. I have chosen my material as bad wood and it already has all of the density, power, and speed preloaded for basswood. I'm gonna hit the little next button and it says move the center of the cross-shaped light beams to the upper left corner. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna first focus it. Actually, before I move that, I'm gonna show you how you can focus it here. This is really cool. It has this little foot over here on the side that sits on top of your material. So I would adjust the little lever here, slide this down to the foot's touching, tighten the little knob right here. And then the little foot has a little magnet so it goes right back in. Now I'm gonna put this in my crosshairs. I'm gonna hit frame. Well, that isn't exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Frame. How about that? Yeah, looks good. Well, Pretty good. I'm gonna center it. Okay, so I framed it. It's right where I want it to be. I'm gonna hit start. It's uploading. And then I press the little button here on the X, but the X tool button to start working. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm Here ready. Here we go. Oh, safety first. Oh, safety first. Because it's a laser, you wanna wear your safety glasses while this runs. Now it has this little orange cage around it that is doing some of the work to protect your eyes, but really you should have these glasses on anytime you're running a laser. Yeah, I can smell a little bit of the fumes. So far, it's not too bad. I guess yeah, we'll see. Yeah, not too bad. I'm a little worried because this room is inside and there are no windows in here, so we're, this is our test on how... How smoky it gets. Yeah, how smoky not it gets. Bad. It smells like somebody lit a match. All right, that looks great. It does look pretty good. Yeah, that's... It looks look great. Out. I don't even know that you... I mean, it's got very little tarring on it. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty good for... No you can always system. mask it. Wow, that came out pretty cool. That looks awesome. Yeah, that came out really cool. Check that out. Yeah, uh, yes. Hopefully they can see. Yes. That one is... i to take my shades off to check that out. Oh yeah. yeah I really do... like the look of that. That's gonna make some awesome tumblers. Yeah, that is gonna make some cool tumblers, yes. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that does look good. All right, so what we're finding, we found a couple of things so far. The leather looks great. You wanna show it to that camera? Great. Yep. Um, I can't, the centering isn't quite right. I gotta work on that. It says to line it up with the crosshairs and that's not quite where I want it to be. So I'll figure that out. And then I've learned with the app, you can only upload an image and engrave. You can't modify or design. So for the dog tag, I was gonna put my cat's name cause you only have a cat. I was gonna put my cat's name on it, but I can't design that on the app on the phone. So we're gonna get the laptop and type out a name and then we're going to engrave that on the stainless steel plate. I believe it's a laptop. No, I marked it. It's really cool looking. Yeah, it's cool looking. I just thought it would be deeper. Well, and my thing is I can't get it exactly centered. How am I gonna know? 
How am I going to get anything exactly centered? You just got to kind of learn how the tool centers things. Yeah. But it looks great. Yeah, it looks good. All right, is that everything? So we've done... Well, do you want to try cutting these now? Yeah, you want to try cutting? We've completed all of our test cuts and in testing graves, and I am loving the look of this metal and this, uh, what is it? Engraving on coated metal. Yeah, engraving on the coated metal. And I can't wait I'm, to do a tumbler. Yeah, very anxious to do a tumbler. And then uh, it did cut through the basswood, and when we picked the proper settings and the proper thickness, you might need your calipers uh, for this. We were able to cut through beautifully. It engraved beautifully. And then on the stainless steel for the little pet ID tag here, it looks beautiful. Garrett expected it to... Go a little deeper. Yes, but I read that it won't on stainless steel. Um, it just marks it. Yeah, so it just kind of marks it. It did. It did a great job marking it. And then uh, we also did this leather, and it did a great job with the leather. I mean, this is a tiny little butterfly, and the detail is still there. And it cut the leather super fast. Yes, I was too. surprised. <laughs> so what I'm thinking so far, I haven't done much with this yet. There's so much more that I want to do is... Is so far, this is great if you're gonna do some crafting. If you wanna start with a laser and start crafting with a laser, I think you can do tumblers, earrings, you can cut out little wood designs, small things. Uh, what else? Dog tags, keychains, paper, cardboard. Acrylic, did you say? Acrylic? Oh, not, I did not say acrylic. Well, that kind of leads me to our next thing. Are you going to be able to focus with those on your fingers? Yeah, we didn't even get to the tumbler attachment. I'm not there yet. That's no. because I want to talk about our materials boxes here. I haven't even opened these. This is like the present I've been waiting for, for the end of this thing. So let's take a look. And again, these came with... Here, I'll just take this thing. Okay. It's portable. It's portable. Yeah, that's the other thing. Look how light and portable this thing is. You really can take it with you uh, and engrave something if maybe you're at a craft show. Maybe on the top of a table. That's another great thing is its portability. Because it's so light and portable, you can put it on top of a piece of furniture and engrave the top of a piece of furniture that you're making over or... What else did we say we could do with, oh, cutting boards, oh, large cutting, cutting boards. boards, like a large charcuterie board. Yeah. If you wanted to engrave on that, you could set it right on top of that. Can't really do that with the Glowforge, but you can with this tool. So let's go into some of our material box here and see what we've got. Because like I said, all I did was open it and take a peek, but I haven't dug through it. So it comes with three, six, seven, seven more of these little pet tags in different shapes and sizes. Like charms. <laughs> yes, charm. Well, that's more like what this is. This oh, is a cool a necklace. Look at this. There's two of them. You want to open the other one? A lot of jewelry. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I think this is great for. Look at this. I can engrave this and then this little loop on there and who knows what else I'll envision oh, putting on there. this piece on there. That's on the, uh, oh, there, there it goes. There yeah, engrave both great? pieces. Oh, it's the same one. Two of those. Some more of the pet tags in different shapes. Oh yeah. I see like what is that? Like a puppy a face? Cloud. A puppy? A paw? Uh, maybe it's paw, paw print. Circles. This is great for a keychain. A piece of. Uh, oh, like pine. Yeah, like um, coasters. Right, coasters. Or if you put a little hole in it, it could oh, be an yeah. ornament Ornaments. even. So, um, what's it called when it still has the bark on it? Live edge, well, yeah, live, live edge, edge wood. And then Wrong. I see another pack of these business cards in lots of colors. I'm gonna get that open for me while I figure that out. And then look at these. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Here's a whole package of these oh, rings. silicone rings. And I think you can use this uh, dowel. I have two dowels in here that you can put the rings on to do the engraving on. Mm, oh, look at all of, of those. Colors. Yeah. Totally gonna make some business cards with those. And then what's in here? Oh, a bunch of wood samples. Well, I see a piece of metal in there, right? Oh, wait, what is that is acrylic? It? Ooh, is it acrylic? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Because I think I envision doing some cool keychains with the acrylic and selling those or gifting those. There you go. Two more pieces of... Oh, it's rubber. Ooh, a stamp, yeah. Oh, a stamp. Ooh, I can't Ooh. wait to do a stamp. And then some more so, like different kinds of plywood. Right, what is this? This is like a oak or something. I think this is a little piece of thin oak, veneered oak and veneered maple. Oh, it's cherry and pine plywood. Oh, okay, cherry and pine. Rubber, silicone rings. Yeah. Oh, oh, so here, even better. Some I don't know why I didn't columns. open this up. It has a list of all the materials and all the settings. Oh, and the settings? Yes. Oh, that is great. I have to keep this around. And then let's see what's in this box. I haven't even peeked in this box, so I don't know what this is. I got you. Ooh, oh, this is acrylic. Oh, red acrylic. Oh, let's red see acrylic. What this is. Ooh, look at this. Interesting. Ooh, you think you can cut through that? I don't know. Ooh, oh, two oh, sheets. two pieces. Oh, okay. Right. Like, it's very thick. Look at this. Yeah, very cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, can't wait to do something with this stuff. Yeah, so I don't think we have enough time in this week's video to use all of these, but we're definitely going to follow up with next, week, next week's video and make some projects with all of these materials, make some cool things and really show you what you can you know, make to sell at craft actually, shows. And actually like use that. it for in a real world setting. Yes, and one last thing, we haven't even had the opportunity to set up the tumbler attachment here. Uh, it wasn't in the initial setup instructions. Yeah. So if you wanna join us over on Patreon, we'll do a patron after show where we'll do a test a tumbler. Test tumbler. And then uh, with the test tumbler, you'll use these little feet. This is another thing we haven't had a chance to do anything with yet, yeah. but it comes with additional feet so that you can set it up higher to do things like tumblers or- um, Just taller items. Yeah, well, like this block of wood or like the silicone rings are gonna have to oh, go up yeah. a little bit higher. So I'm really excited. All right. Well, we are about out of time, so if you're not gonna join us on Patreon where we uh, test out the tumbler, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I don't have anything to balance. I'll just balance this. Yeah, I'm sure you can balance <laughs> just, I can balance the laser. Should I go get the laser? <laughs> no, please, no. 